Well, we can talk to Tyler Orton right now from Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Sonia. I have to start with uh, the loony, the low price of our dollar here in Canada, because it is what everybody is talking about. Boy, yeah, and we do see this morning it is doing a little bit better. Uh, yesterday, of course, it dipped below 70 cents and hit a 13-year low yesterday. So this is kind of raising concerns amid, you know, the cooling off of, of oil prices because, of course, oil went below $30 a barrel yesterday as well. And if there are any question marks about whether or not we have a petrol currency, I, I mean, I don't think that's going to be up in the air anymore. It's very clear that this is having a huge impact on the loonie. Now, there are concerns as well that going forward, we could even see an even lower dollar. Of course, uh, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polos, he's uh, cut the benchmark interest rates twice since last year. And amid all this cooling off in the Canadian economy, there are concerns or there are there's speculation, I should say, that uh, we could see the interest rate cuts another time uh, within this year. Now, uh, uh, David Doyle of uh, the Macquarie Group, he even told Bloomberg News that he sees the Canadian dollar going as far as 59 cents by the end of the year. Keep in mind, this is the guy who predicted 11 months ago that the loonie would hit below 70 cents, and we saw that come to fruition yesterday. So there's definitely a lot of signs pointing to an even lower Canadian dollar than what we're seeing right now. All right, well, we are going to talk about it a bit later on what, you know, the significance of that dropping dollar and what it really means for all of us as uh, consumers and just generally as uh, Canadians here. I do want to talk to you about this uh, big story uh, about Chorus uh, buying Shaw Media. Tell us more about this. Yeah, of course. Uh, now, uh, Chorus is acquiring Shaw Media from Shaw Communications, which is, of course, you know, your uh, parent company, in a deal worth $2.65 billion. Now, this might answer a lot of questions that we had uh, with regards to the deal or last month that was announced between Shaw Communications and Win Mobile. Now, if you recall, uh, Shaw was uh, announcing that they were acquiring Wind in the deal worth about $1.6 billion. Now, this new deal between uh, Chorus and Shaw would give away uh, Shaw Media uh, for uh, this price plus $1.8 billion in cash. So this is kind of going to answer the question about how Shaw was going to pay for this Win Mobile deal going forward. Now, with this new acquisition, uh, Course would have about 39 specialty channels, 15 TV stations, and uh, about 40 uh, uh, radio stations. I, I, it just said 39 specialty TV channels. Uh, so I was just actually a referring huge to... deal and oh, yeah. really increasing their position and their monopoly in the media market, hey? It's going to have wide impacts. Even the CEO, Brad Shaw, he released a memo uh, to uh, employees this morning saying this is going to change the media landscape for us. And the other thing that is really important here is it's really making Shaw Communications very, very much focused on the telecommunications industry, especially with that acquisition of Win Mobile as well. Interesting. Well, I'm sure there's going to be a lot more talk about that particular deal as the day rolls on. Tyler, thank you so much for that. Thank you.